Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're working on a Yanmar excavator. We've got to do some shim work and replace some bolts on the thumb of this machine. Stay tuned and we'll show you how we get that job done. So as you can see here on the left side of our machine, the retaining cap that holds the pin through the thumb is about to fall off. Customer's done a little bit of everything he said tried to put different bolts in it, different thread, tapped it out, put Loctite on it. It's done a little bit of everything trying to keep this retaining cap from, from beating its way off. And uh, as you can see on the other side, he's actually missing the one that goes here. He uh, was doing a big job and said he's seen it fall off, but he just went ahead and kept on working and got it done. But anyways, we were looking at it the other day and realized that he's got about five sixteenths of an inch of gap here and about a quarter inch on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and burn out some, I would call them donuts, but we're gonna call them shims in this video. <laughs> we're gonna put a shim on this side and a shim on this side to tighten up the slop to keep these bolts from getting jarred so bad back and forth when this thumb moves. Another thing that we're gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick is it has a half inch hole in the pin now, and we are actually gonna upgrade that hole to a 5 8 And we're also gonna go a little bit longer with the bolt that holds the retaining cap on, just to give it extra strength. Let's get to work. We're going to go ahead and blow off our shavings that are on our tap, starting to get in a little bit of a bond, see if that'll help smooth out the process of going through this hole. It's going to add just a little more oil to our hole also, help our tap cut a little better. Doesn't really matter what kind. Now that we've got our other side tapped out and ready for the new 5 8 bolt, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side. All right, guys, now that we've got our bolt holes tapped out to the new size of 5 8 fine thread, we're going to go ahead and start working on those shim pieces. So we've got a 2 inch shaft or pin that goes through the whole piece here. So we're going to cut a donut or a shim that is 2 inch ID. And then it looks like the radius of this is roughly a four inch. So we're gonna cut a two by four inch OD shim 
that we will stick in between here and obviously the same thing on the other side to tighten up this thumb from slopping back and forth so much. So now that we're at the computer, we're kind of going to walk you guys through how we go about making our part. So first we're going to draw a two inch diameter circle, which is actually what we have on the screen. And we're going to come in and make one more circle that's going to be a four inch. We're going to save this. as a Yanmar excavator shim. All right, so there's our part. Now we got to load it into our software that our plasma table uses to cut it. So here we go, Yanmar excavator shim. We're gonna load that in here gonna go ahead and make a tool path so our machine knows how to cut this out we're cutting quarter inch AR plate for this here so we're gonna find our quarter inch AR steel we're gonna set that at the right cut speed here change our lead in to a quarter inch and boom now that'll show you that it's gonna start here, come in, cut our inside, and then when it moves to the outside, it's gonna come from the outside in, cut our circle, and boom, we've got a shim. Obviously, we're gonna need two of these, so I'm gonna put two, give them about a quarter inch gap in between, and go ahead and save this, wrong button. Save that real quick. And now we're gonna bring up our software for the table. So now we're going to choose Yanmar Excavator Shim, and it's going to show here, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, there you go. So now you can see here that we've got our two shims up here in this little screen that shows our table placement, and obviously it's not correct right now, so we're going to have to move our table and zero it back out to our sheet of material that we're going to cut the shims out of. So we want these shims to cut out in this bottom corner. So we're gonna go ahead and zero our machine out right here. All right, here we go. All right, let's get our shims installed. So first we're gonna try to get this pin to move to give us our gap in between here. It's where we can slide that shim down in there and get it on the pin. Drop our shim through here. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can get that shaft to go back through there now. Oh, 
perfect. So now, as you can see, we've got our shim in there. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to shove that pin all the way past this point here. We're going to slip our shim in there, and then we're going to drive the pin back through. Perfect. Now you can see we've got our shim in this side and our shim in this side. All right, guys. So as I showed you earlier, on the right side of the machine, we're missing this retaining cap. So now we're going to show you guys how we're going to make another one. All right, so now that we've got our shims in, our new retaining cap made for this side here that I'm showing you, we're gonna go ahead and jump in the machine and operate that thumb up and down and make sure everything works like it should and is nice and tight. 